Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Friday, November the 1st. I'm just down at uh, Toronto Harbourfront around the power plant here, looking out at Lake Ontario. It's kind of a cold, blustery day. Um, in the previous videos, I've been looking at using GNSS for various um, purposes for location and also for propagation drive testing. Uh, but yesterday, I received a very interesting email from a colleague who suggested I look at AIS Catcher. AIS Catcher I've heard of, but I haven't used. So I downloaded it yesterday and I tested it at my home location and uh, it was pretty amazing. It pulled in stuff which I was very surprised at because I'm like about 15 kilometers from the harbor and I'm surrounded by huge condo buildings. So I'm surprised I got anything. Anyways, I got a lot of signals. So I thought I could come down to the harbor here and test it. And I'm just looking at OpenCPN here and it's amazing. I've just picked up pretty well everything that's there. Um, AIS Catchers, um, it works on multiple uh, platforms, uh, Mac, uh, Windows, Linux, Raspberry Pi, and it works with a whole bunch of different SDRs. So it's an amazingly versatile uh, uh, program. There's some very good videos on YouTube about how to get going with it. Yesterday I looked at uh, one video um, by Tech Minds, which is pretty good. Uh, so you can get going in about five minutes. I've got all the details in the blog post. Um, but I'm going to go over to Camtasia here and uh, just show you basically how to get going. So just a quick look at the uh, interface here. I'm using an RTL uh, SDR with a whip antenna to receive the AIS signals on 87B and 88B VHF channels, which are at 161.975 and 162.025. And then I've got the uh, GNSS receiver there, which is uh, an LNA and a BPF and the receiver actually in the um, in the small uh, antenna package there. Uh, this is an RTL uh, version 5. Okay, so the first thing to do is um, get the AIS catcher. So when you go to the website, uh, there's an excellent manual. The uh, documentation is pretty amazing. So choose the, um, uh, I choose I chose the Windows binary, the latest one, uh, the 64-bit edge, and that's standard for the RTL SDR. There are various other options depending on which SDR you have. So that's the one I chose. It comes as a zip file. So when you open it up, you'll see that there's an EXE in here. So if you, um, if you just click the EXE, what it'll do is uh, locate your RTL, but that's all it will do. So there is a, a start bat file, and you can, you can change the options to this. This is very much like the old program uh, that I uh, first encountered several years ago called AIS Deco, kind of a command line uh, utility, which was very good. So basically, you added various options. So here, they've given you a start bat file, which is the uh, EXE plus various options. And this is the UDP output for OpenCPN. And there is a local web server, uh, localhost 8100 port. Um, so if you start the uh, start bat, what you see is this. You'll see all the various information coming from the received signals. It'll tell you if it detected the RTL, etc. And when you go to OpenCPN, there's OpenCPN. You can see that there's a lot of stuff detected here. This is a very, very uh, good receiver uh, software here. Just click on one of these things. That's Radium Yellow Knife. There's David Hornell. There's a lot underway there. There's uh, Iron Guppy. Uh, so the important thing for OpenCPN, there's a red boat, incidentally. That's where we are right now. Uh, if you go into connections here, you'll see that I've got two connections. I've got a serial connection for uh, NEMA 0183 for the GNSS. If you want the full Monty, um, all the satellites like uh, GPS, uh, Baidu, GLONASS, etc., you can go up to 91, I think it's 90, 91600, a much higher bit in the baud rate to accommodate all the data from the various satellites. But I'm just, since I'm getting an excellent fix here, I'm just at, uh, using GPS of 4800. Now here's the connection from the AIS catcher. So it's UDP, okay? And you, what you do is you, you um, have a network connection, and then there's the network address, 127.0.0.1, and that's 10110. So that corresponds to this in the bat file. So this is in the bat file there, and there's your network connection stuff in OpenCPN. So, uh, we can see that we're getting a lot of stuff there. 